Well, the first two nights were really good, but it's after tonight, it's not even a tough decision, which has been the best night so far. And coming through, like most years, as people say, December 30th is kind of the night. Obviously, 31st is the big celebration, the three sets, the gag, the whole deal. But then the 30th, they usually deliver, and boy, did they tonight. And we still got some big boys left for tomorrow. We got many more Hall of Famers taking off the show, taking off the... Uh, off the list tonight, and uh, this first set, when this first set ended, I thought, wow, man, that is going to be one of the best first sets for, uh, you know, in a while. It was, you know, but then it's going from one of the best first sets in a while to one that'll probably get overlooked because of everything that happened over here. Not even everything, a five-song second set, which included an If I Could, which, as you would imagine, was the least jammed. So let's get started out over here. Down with Disease, opening up the first set, continuing the trend of mixing songs around, not where we usually uh, have them placed. Although we still get our regulars like Moma Dance here, No Men in No Man's Land over there, Golden Age sneaking in a cover on us finally there. And of course, if you don't count, goes to the forest and sci fi soldiers. So here in the first set, The Howling, you know, it seems like it's going to be like The Martian Monster was for Chilling Thrilling. You know, it got a great immediate reaction from people. And uh, upon further further replays, uh, people still seem to dig it. They seem to be finding a groove with it. So the howling, let's not get too deep down in here. All right, let's get back up here to Moment Dance. You know, in its regular spot, really. It's usually going to be somewhere like this. You know, I don't know where it's been recently. Pebbles and Marbles, you know, coming out of nowhere, really. That one was not on many people's list. But we'll always take a Pebbles and Marbles. Starting out with another strong trio like we did last night. Then theme from the bottom coming hard right here, right in the middle of the first set. You know, showing they're still feeling like we want to jam. And a really strong Reba following that up. Pretty much all four guys getting the show off there. Who did not get the show off, though, was early in the show. To start the show with Down With Disease. It's like, you could, I don't know what was going on with Mike, but you could barely hear him. It just seemed like there was a... You know, I, I don't know what was going on there. You know, I know people, I try not to complain too much. You know, we're, we're getting every show webcast to us at this point, but... You know, if you're ever going to have Mike turned down, that, that to start with down with disease is not the time. All right, so then we get into the howling, as I said, and then Foam making an appearance. All right, you know, not a regular by any means, but not as uh, rare as it once was going back several years. And then Run Like an Antelope, finishing the set strong there. So pretty much everything coming through here in the first set. Then No Men in No Man's Land opening up the second set. And it kind of gets down and dirty. It starts, it has this moments where it's slow and peaceful and quiet and then starts to build. But it's not even really a slow build. It's kind of a quick build into just a full-on rager. So we get that in there. Golden Age, like I said, and it maybe had stepped it up from No Men in No Man's Land. I mean, I don't know which one, out of these three, I don't know which one ran the longest. But it felt like, you know, this was almost like an hour segment right here. These, this trio. And uh, kind of like we started out with a hot trio there. Things are just coming in threes over here for the pea fish. So Golden Age strong again, and then sand is where it absolutely got down. Felt like, oh man, maybe a maybe a wasted opportunity here with sand after these two big boys. You know, they got another one in them. Oh, indeed they did. You know, as it's just going along, a little bit of a ho hum saying they've played the song. Now they're starting to jam, and then Paige just starts making these just just weird sounds, man. I don't even know what he was doing. He didn't even know what he was doing, but it sure got Mike inspired. He walks over, he opens up the drawer, starts hitting on his pedals, making some sounds. And then uh, Trey just comes flying through, showing, hey, I'm the leader of the band. I'm going to rock out now. Just going hard for several minutes, Trey did there. And just a, a slight tweak of the tone. Trey can go, uh, can just kind of have a harder sound to it. And uh, just flaming through sand. Then we get into, we got to cool off a little bit after this. After this big start, they had to cool off a little bit for if I could. And if we're going to get a slow, quiet ballad, boy, what a, what a good one to have, you know. And then Paige has always wanted it this way. Kind of similar to Sam. Just seems like, all right, we're going to end the set with this possibly. Maybe even not. Maybe we'll race through this and get another one. Oh, boy, they did not. Well, we started racing, though, again was Trey. Similar to Sam, it's like I said, it was just ho-humming along. And Trey's like, no, 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 no ho-humming here. Let's get down and just starts flaming with his guitar again. Lots of Trey, just like last night. Lots of Trey again tonight. And then why not, man? We're rocking. Let's go Chalk Dust Torture. You know, no need to calm things down. It's the last song of the night. Only doing four nights. Let's bring it heavy all night. And they did. Lots of red there. It was, like I said, easily the best night of the three. And the first two were really good. I enjoyed them. <clears throat> 
first set, like I said, will get overlooked, unfortunately, just because this was great. This was great as well. Foam had its moments. You decide what those moments were. And I think we are out of here, guys. Boom. It's smelling the Sharpie. Ah, nothing better than fresh Sharpie at midnight. All right, guys. Boom. We got one more. It's going to be big. What are they going to do, man? What do they got up their sleeve? We got Tweezer and Karini, obviously. Perhaps Divided Sky. I don't know, man. Divided Sky could get left at home. Mike's Groove, of course. Probably turn Mike down for Weekapog. All right, guys. Let's get out of here. Boom. Boom.